Global Ethics Corner from the Carnegie Council. What is the U.S. role in the world? Afghanistan brings back this crucial question, and the choice evokes two extremes. First, the U.S. should be a light on a hill, an example. John Quincy Adams argued, America goes not abroad in search of monsters to destroy. She is the well-wisher to the freedom and independence of all. She is the champion and vindicator only of her own. She will command the general cause by the countenance of her voice and the benign sympathy of her example. Second, American values require forceful U.S. engagement, being a moral champion. Teddy Roosevelt argued, We have become a great nation, forced by the fact of its greatness into relations with other nations, and we must behave as beseems a people with such responsibilities. While ever careful to refrain from wrongdoing others, we must be no less insistent that we are not wronged ourselves. We wish peace, but we wish the peace of justice, the peace of righteousness. Few fully endorse either pole and policy shades towards the middle. However, tendencies towards one or the other are the currents under American foreign policy. Both are moral positions, but the implications are strikingly divergent. In Afghanistan or around the world, should the underlying current push policy towards either disengagement, lofty example, or toward commitment, championing universal values. Neither pole will or should prevail, but which current best drives America's interests? The choice may determine America's future. In which direction do you sail, example or champion? This is William Vokey from the Carnegie Council. Made possible by the Carnegie Council for Ethics and International Affairs. Post a comment at www.carnegiecouncil.org.